can you believe it? I can't. It's been two months. And I was sitting here going, uh, which angle? But I just can't. I just can't care. I just can't. What can you do? I did lose three pounds in the last two weeks. But don't congratulate me because I wasn't being terribly intentional. It just happened. Um, I'm in so much pain this morning, which... I don't know. I feel like it's a perpetual phase of roving, reoccurring injury type stuff. So like my left hip, um, not so much the socket, but in the back of like your sacroiliac joint. Killing me. Killing me so bad. I shouldn't even be sitting down. Because I find the more arthritic, painful, muscular, skeletal type symptoms. Hi. Hi my dog where is he what are you doing what are you doing he's obsessed with me um but i find like moving moving more helps i remember years ago like i would be in so much pain and that it would put me kind of right where i am on the couch and then it would just like get worse and worse and worse um I think it hurts more today because I took two naps yesterday. <laughs> so there was more laying around than normal for me. Um, but oh, I'm overheating so bad right now. And that was actually one of the things I was going to ask you guys about. So FND being something that can dysregulate all of your symptoms. No, systems because your nervous system controls everything. I was wondering if it's common for like temperature regulation issues or is that because I changed birth controls to deal with my terrible menstrual cycles that I'm trying not to have at all and then it's not working. Men, plug your ears, but I've literally been having ladies days for like three months straight now um, and that pain stuff and hormony stuff. I wonder if that has to do with the temperature regulation or the fact that I've gained 50 pounds in the last year or is it just FND? But literally I'm like sweating right now. I'm like, oh, I'm so gross. I want to take off my sweatshirt. But I'm literally like, I'm freezing. I'm hot. I'm going to die. It's so hot. It's so uncomfortable. It's gross. And then if I get cold, then I'm like stuttering and shaking and having dystonia and having like my involuntary movements in like my diaphragm so then I've got like super fabulously not sexy vocalizations coming out of me um and it's so miserable and because I'm so sensitive to sensory type things like the sensation of being sweaty is absolutely atrocious this week at work I literally went to Target and bought underwear, pants, new shirt, everything, because I was so sweaty, I was disgusted with myself. Um, do you guys have that? Do you have temperature issues? <sighs> it's awful. I'm tempted to go see my PCP because I'm also having a lot of problems with symptoms from my neck discs. So when I first got FND, I had stretched my neck. And when I did that, I felt like this tasing feeling in my back. And by that night, my fingers and toes were curling under. And by two, in two weeks later, it looked like I had Parkinson's. So like later to find out I have four bulging discs in my neck. And I'm always like, this is such a huge piece of the puzzle. Um, but, you know. The doctors emphatically swear that has no correlation whatsoever. Um, I did have a pain, what do you call those guys? Pain management guys. He was like um, an anesthesiologist. I did ask him. I said, look, I had two epidurals when I was giving birth to my daughter. It had to be four people that night on the floor had to be redone. Then I had a spinal tap for headache issues that didn't clot. And then I was leaking spinal fluid and then I had to have a blood patch. Um, I have four bulging discs in my cervical spine that do 
I begged for a flexion extension MRI. That's where you have like a supine picture, which is like flat, and then flexion, which is like tipped forward, and then extension when it's all the way back. And, and there was definitely clearly, it wasn't like a myelopathy where it's like completely pinching the spinal cord, but it was definitely, it definitely touches. And years ago, there was a clear correlation when anytime I would do gardening, I would have massive symptoms because I was stuck in that extension position for a long time and that would put impingement on my spinal cord and create FND-like symptoms. And he did agree that, and I was abused as a kid, so like, and had saw a lot of bad things and trauma and things that kids shouldn't see and was kidnapped back and forth by both parents and watched and saw and observed a lot of violence and so and wasn't nurtured or have any sort of resemblance of a normal childhood so all that affects your nervous system and your hypothalamus and uh, your adrenaline response stuff like that so I was saying all that together don't you think that that could be a contributing factor to all of this and he did say yes maybe he said yes to get me out of his freaking office but no, I think he really did seem to think so. But um, I've been having a lot of symptoms like numbness and tingling down my arm. My fingers have been like super numb for like a couple months. But the thing is, I really don't like going to the doctor because at this point, it's like this stuff's not going to go away. I mean, not that it won't or can't, because I do have seasons where it's better. Um, but, like, there's nothing that inherently that they can do for me. Um, I do take propranolol, which is a blood pressure medication, even though my blood pressure is fine. Um, it's used, it can be used to cap the adrenaline response. And apparently they, at time, I've heard uh, a psychiatric nurse practitioner tell me that they'll give it to people that have like fear of public speaking and they'll take it before and it like just kind of caps that response so i do take that supposedly i'm supposed to take it twi 20 milligrams twice a day this is not medical advice i'm just telling you what i do um and that was uh i had my pcp recommend why don't you take it a second time in the day because it has a short half-life but I'm kind of sucky at taking that second pill. Do you guys set a, an alarm on your phone or anything to remind you to take your pills? Maybe I'm pretty... Oh, I haven't taken them today. I do take an, I take an antidepressant um, to help treat my... I have premenstrual dysphoric disorder. Is that what they call it? PMDD. I get like... Not so much now because I manage it with meds. But I used to deal like super ultra i hate everybody ragey terrible um during ovulation and right before my period uh and pretty intense severe pain but short like three day cycles so the meds have really the antidepressants are supposed to help i guess my lady doctor was saying that to treat pmdd symptoms it's not so much birth control but they use um SSRIs. So that has been a huge change in my life in the last three years or so. Because as I got older, those symptoms got more and more intense and I was like unbearable. And so that really does help a lot. And then um, I, so I take that, but it's also supposed to help with my movement dis disorder, like, but I'm not entirely certain about that because I don't know uh oh my dog just no 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 go no. oh bullet bullet just came in from being outside and he's supposed to get his feet wiped off and he didn't do that he ran to the couch oh his whole body is wet oh I can see beads of water on his back he stinks like a wet dog bad dog Bullet. <laughs> um, let's see, what else do I take? Propranolol for my adrenaline stuff. 
and my antidepressant for my whole freaking life. <sighs> Lately, I've been taking a lot of like Advil or Aleve for pain stuff. Um, go, 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 go. Get down. He's supposed to get down to go get wiped off, and he just moved spots on the couch. Bad dog. Um, do I take any other pills? <laughs> I don't, I feel like, yeah, Tylenol ibuprofen has been a big one lately. Um, does whiskey count? Whiskey. Okay. So <laughs> don't tell my secrets. Okay. I've been drinking a lot of whiskey lately. Um, okay. I, my, my spiel is I don't drink too much. I drink too often, but I will say in the last few weeks, there's been probably a good three times that I've drank too much also, but my job is so freaking stressful and on, 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 go, 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 deadline, 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 staffing, freaking A, it's just a lot. There's five people that live at my group home and I'm supposed to have a staff of 10 and right now I have two day shifts, two swing shift, and one, no, and two graveyards. And I'm supposed to have three in the morning, three in the evening, and one at night. And I'm, I kind of count as the, one of the three in the day, but we're really short staffed. So, um, but yeah, so I literally like pay all the bills for five different people and plan out all of their medical appointments and activity. Well, I don't plan out their they have frequencies to meet, but I ensure that they get scheduled and attended and all the miles of paperwork afterward is done properly. And then staff and it's just, it's um really crazy intense. And I finally, I'm at the point now where everyone knows I've got issues and like um, one of my staff will be like, turning on the blender or um, I'm good. I need to sharpen a knife because they know that all these sounds and stuff mess me up really bad. And then like, was at the office for my Thursday manager meetings and I was like, <sighs> just breathing. And someone turns to me and she's like, pain, pain. And I was like, uh, and my boss is like, she's always in pain. And I'm like, actually this is like, I'm having some PTSD type issues right now. Um, but yeah, I am also in pain, but that's like, duh. So, you know, I can't keep my secrets that long, you know, because it's just, there's too many instances. And I recently switched to a roller cart bag. I'm so embarrassed. <laughs> my back, okay, I'll show you. Let me get up. Oh, oh, ooh, it hurts. It hurts. Okay, so I think my other bag is not here right now, but I had just like a regular bag on your shoulder but I take my work home all the time and so it's like super duper ultra heavy so you can see let's see I'm this is my new bag and it is like completely full of a million files and my laptop and there's a coffee mug and my bag of sticky notes and pens and then these are all my meds in here I should be taking. Normally I have like um like a pill pack, like a daily seven day awake thing, but I got lazy and threw them all in here. Anyways, this bag, oh my back hurts so bad. It's like this. It's a roller bag and it's embarrassing because it's really loud when I'm on concrete, like walking up to my workhouse. I'm like, gosh, if my staff was doing something bad, they're stopping because they are hearing me like a mile away. But I just joke that it's my adaptive equipment. So for, in you know, people with disabilities, you have your adaptive equipment and this is mine. So my dog is coming closer to snuggle. Hi, Bullet. Bullet, you wet dog, you. Hi. Welp. So 
so yeah um so those are my meds and I can't even focus right now because of this hold on I'm trying to hold my tea fix my eyebrow um yeah uh I'm trying to think of what else I can't believe that so many of you are still here and more you know more keep coming so I can't believe that the next big milestone is 500 it's amazing and let's see December is going to be four years with FND how long have you had FND chronic disability Joe has muscular dystrophy how long have you had a disability He obviously doesn't keep close count. What? Well, it wasn't. It's progressed. Well, I know it's progressed. So you're saying it started 17 or 18 years ago? Yeah. Early 2000s. Early 2000s. Where he started going through diagnosis stuff. Wow. Did I tell you guys we were getting a track wheelchair? Did we talk about that? Yes, we did. Hi, do you have memory issues? I do. I feel like we did. I feel like we did. Well, we have it now. So yeah, I can go back and watch my videos. Sometimes you guys comment on like, or new people come and they comment on videos that I made like a year and a half ago. And I'm like, I have no idea what is in the content of that video. Cause I don't really plan. I just stand here and talk and blah, blah, blah. But next time I will go out there and show you guys the track chair. It's a wheelchair that has on uh, like all-terrain tank type tracks instead of wheels so we got to take a two mile walk together and it was really heartwarming because Joe was like oh wow bullet walks really fast and I was like how weird to think that you have a dog that you've never seen walk really fast because you can't so it was really special anyways um that's that so do you guys have temperature control issues um sweating horribly right now uh what do you take for your condition to help and what are you doing um personally to help keep your sanity what am i doing personally whiskey which is really crappy i need to find better coping trying to be like I'm going to drink this lovely cup of tea and maybe take a bubble bath because I don't want to do things that are like taking away from my health and it sure doesn't feel good to drink too much really badly does not feel good so I don't know you're not alone we all have our issues I hate being misunderstood though I really hate it when like People that just don't get it don't understand like why you might talk about your health or why you might do what you do or don't do what you do or can't go out, you know, or have to cancel at the last minute or whatever because you're managing your life and your symptoms. Last thing, I feel like one thing that's been weird for me in the last uh, few weeks is I've been feeling like super run down and not rested um, because of my job. Like a lot of times I'll work all day and then I'll come home and I'll work all night and um, just having pain and symptoms and just go, go, go or busy weekends. And sometimes I get nervous like, uh-oh, if I'm not careful, I'm going to F myself up really bad and not be able to work or I'm going to have to get my walker out or... I'm going to lose my SHIT and not be okay. And so like, I'm, but then sometimes I was telling one of my staff, it's like, you know, I went to work one day this week and I was having really bad um, PTSD issues and emotional issue, issues from quitting a medication and, um, and not having the other one quite right. So just like this perfect storm and I was like, you know, if we lived in a society where I could just not go to work because I need to listen to my body, that'd be great. But I've had 
a couple intense like week-long pain spell issues after a work injury that I just zapped all my sick time and vacation time and then I was involved in those two um, accident issues at work that were like life-saving endeavors that were really intense that caused me some trouble I had to take time off so now I'm like no sick time no vacation time and it's like I like this weekend there's stuff I have to do at home but like I completely went and got a pedicure and a manicure with a friend yesterday I took a nap with Maddie I took where else did I nap out here I napped again I feel like yeah, after, dinner, you took a nap on the couch. after dinner I napped on the couch uh, and so and like today we're gonna go replace the back window in this truck that we got that I'm really excited to drive because I feel big and powerful in it. <laughs> and, but other than that, I'm like, I've got to take it easy, both mentally and physically, and just take deep breaths and rest and relax, because I'm afraid, I, I'm afraid of myself. <laughs> Are you afraid of yourself? Anyways, that's the weird unknown part where you just don't know what could happen, and it's difficult to not get um worked up about that so anyways i'm really trying not to be so long between videos but time flies when i saw that it was two months i was like what do you mean that was like last week so all right i'm gonna go drink my earl gray and see about a window have a great day and i'll see you soon